have to say that using phrases, words like budget, budget friendly, affordable, wallet friendly, when describing skincare products just no longer resonates with me. And that's because I'm very conscious of the fact that what's affordable to one person can be extremely expensive, a luxury to someone else. And I never want anyone to feel less than. So for me, going forward with my YouTube channel, I haven't done this in a while, but going forward, I'm going to instead talk about products of a certain price point. Today's evening skincare routine are products that are all at the $19.99 price point or below, with the exception of one product that is $32.99. And I will explain why that product is that price as we get into the tutorial. So that's where I am now. You know, we all evolve in life and I really do look back on some of the videos I've made where I've talked about things being budget or budget friendly and I have to say they make me cringe. So I am evolving as we all are and thank you for stopping by. My name is Lauren O'Connell. Welcome to this video. Welcome to my channel and I'm the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I am also a blogger. I have a website called planetlauren.com and on my website I blog about all things related to women's wellness, skincare, beauty, and spirituality. I'm also on Instagram as well. You can find me over there. At my all that details, all those details are down below in the description box. So I am 40 years old and I am going to share with you this evening skincare routine full of products from brands that I absolutely love. I get a lot of exposure to different brands from my job and from also the Instagramming that I do. And over the years, I have found brands that just really resonate with me with their ethos and with the ingredients list that they use. I am a freak when it comes to ingredients. I really feel like I figured out the right ingredients for my skin and I've been using them and just seeing great results over the years. I do wanna just mention in terms of um, injectables and laser treatments and plastic surgery, Everything I've done, I have videos on, but in a nutshell, I do not have any filler on my face. I get Botox on the corners of my eyes and right here where the 11s are. I don't really feel like I have any Botox left and I'm actually scheduled to go get some soon. But you can see I can move my my forehead and I get all these little lines. I just for whatever reason, I don't move my eyebrows when I talk. I've been like this my entire life. And no one really noticed it when I was younger, but I think now that I'm older and everyone's always trying to see if she's had Botox or not, they think that my forehead is just frozen. Well, it is, but it's because of my anatomy, not because of any injectables. I get Botox on the corners of my eyes and it's been a while since I've had it. So you can see the, uh, the crow's feet coming through. And so I like to get it there just to kind of keep those at bay. And I did notice uh, the last time before I had Botox that I felt like I was getting two little indentations where the 11s are. So I had my doctor start to put some Botox there just to, once again, to keep that minimized as possible. But you can see I can move my eyebrows and create them. So I'm not lying to you about that, I promise. And when I say Botox, I mean all injectables, all neuromodulators. I love a good laser. I get lasers about twice a year. I had Morpheus 8 in uh, October. May have been November. I think it was October. Yeah, it had to have been October. And I have content on that on my channel. And over the springtime last year, 2022, I had BBL, which is broadband light, and Moxie laser. All of this information I share with you on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. So you can find um, everything that I've ever done, I'm very open about it. <sighs> that is like my disclaimer. Goodness, I, I feel like I have to say all of that to get that just out of the way so people don't think I'm trying to trick them. So let's get into this video. None of, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I wish it was. <laughs> it's not. So everything I'm showing you is, is truly just any, it's everything that I love and use at home. Um, if something is sponsored, number one, it is very vetted and fielded by me. I get so many offers. Usually I say no to them because it's things I would never actually use in my real life. And um, if it was sponsored, I would tell you from the get-go. Okay. I think I got everything out of the way. So at nighttime, it is so important to double cleanse your skin. Even if you don't wear any makeup, you wanna double cleanse your skin because the oil 
The first part of the double cleansing routine, which is the oil part, it's going to lift up all of the impurities on your skin. That could be makeup, skincare, SPF, dirt, debris, dust, whatever gets on your face during the day. And the oil is going to lift that up and begin to dissolve it. Then you go in with a water-based cleanser. The water-based cleanser is going to kind of wash everything away. I have a an absolute love for the brand Mad Hippie. If you look through my YouTube channel, you will see so many videos throughout the years where I am, you know, talking about the different products, trying them out, testing them, and all this stuff. So this is their cleansing oil. And what I love about this oil, oops, is that it is so nourishing to the skin. It doesn't burn my eyes and it gets everything off my face. So I'm going to put this on my skin and really work it in there. Oh, I love this oil. It's full of antioxidants as well and lots of different extracts to just, like I said earlier, nourish the skin, soften it, hydrate it, and just make it feel wonderful. I have very, very dry skin and I've been in Dubai for 14 years. So I've had to deal with the Middle Eastern sun for 14 years and I have very, very fair skin as you can see. So using the right skincare products has been uh, essential to my, to keeping me, myself, you know, as healthy looking as possible. So I'm going to then just put a little bit of water on my hands and kind of emulsify this oil and then go in with the water-based cleanser. Oh, I want to point out that the oil is $17.99 and you can find it at Ulta. I have all the down below my description box, you can find links for everything I'm using. Keep in mind that I get a small commission if you purchase any of them. When I say small, I mean small, but uh, everything is down below so you can find all of that information. So now I'm going in with the Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser and this has a lot of antioxidants in it as well, some fatty acids, and it's going to really hydrate, moisturize my skin as I cleanse it. Doesn't burn my eyes, it gets everything off my skin. If you happen to live in Dubai and you're watching this video, uh, you can buy these products on InstaShop at different pharmacies. So just throw, put Mad Hippie into your InstaShop app and you will find it pop up. So here I am putting on this cream cleanser, giving my eyes a good cleanse, my neck. And I usually do go in on my chest too. It's just, I'm wearing this robe today. And this cream cleanser retails for $16.99. Okay, now I'm going to wash it off and then just blot my skin dry. Now for the next part, I'm going to, for the next part, I'm going to show you um, two products. My suggestion is you alternate these on different nights and I would use the retinol for five or six nights a week and the lactic acid for one or two nights a week, depending on your preference. The retinol that I love to use, um, and I use this extensively back in probably 2017, 2018, you'll see it on my channel, but this is the Mad Hippie Vitamin A Serum. This is such a great serum because the type of retinol in here is a retinoic acid ester. It's actually the same one that's in my beloved Sunday Riley Luna Oil. It's called Hydroxy Pina Cologne Retinoate. And it is a, because it's a retinoic acid receptor, when you put it in your skin, on your skin, it immediately is going to bind to the retinoic receptors in your skin. And then that whole, all of that magic, that ret, ugh, and then everything that retinol does for us is going to start happening a lot quicker. Sometimes when we use, or not sometimes, but all the times, when we use uh, weaker retinols, they just take so long to work. This one is fast. This is just as fast as prescription strength tretinoin, and I absolutely love it on my skin. So I'm going to put this on half of my face. The other half I'm going, oh, sorry. This one is the $32.99 product. And I believe that's because HPR is just more expensive. That's the reason for the price. Sorry, my son came in to talk to me and I got completely distracted and I ended up having to just shut the video off. So this Fervor Fermented Lactic Acid is going, to, because it's a larger molecular size than glycolic acid, it's more friendly to dry and maturing skin. And it's going to not be able to penetrate as deeply. It's not as drying to me. 
I love lactic acid. This is a chemical exfoliant that's going to slough off the dead skin cells on my face. It unglues them, dissolves their bonds, they slough off, revealing just fresh skin underneath. It helps with cell turnover and it's going to also just keep your skin tone looking very even. If you have any sunspots, age spots, it will help to minimize their appearance. So I recommend using this one about one to two nights a week and this one for the other nights. Of course, it's always best to check with your dermatologist, but this is what I do and um, what's worked really well for me. Sorry, let me put this. And I have to say that my love for skincare ingredients comes from the fact that number one, because I'm so fair, I've always been very mindful of uh, my skin and that's because of my mother. When I was little, she would just smother me, smother me in sunblock. And you know how much kids hate that, especially those sunblocks back in the eighties. Oh my gosh. But, um, you know, I was born into a family where everyone steps out into the sun and just gets immediately golden brown. And then there was just me. So I became very aware, conscious of my skin from a very young age. And I ended up just getting really into taking care of my skin. In high, uh, college, I actually have a degree in biomechanical engineering. Not because I wanted to, this is the fervor, but because my dad told me I had to. And I grew up in a very strict a uh, very strict militant type family and I was terrified of my parents. So when they told me to do something, I had to do it. So I got a degree in mechanical engineering with a concentration in biomechanics. And then I went on and got a master's of science in nursing, believe it or not. But my heart was never in any either of those uh professions. And I was always good at school though. And I loved the bio aspect of everything. If I had had my way, I would have been writing for Cosmo back in my early twenties. So the lactic acid just does tingle just a little bit. That's normal. It should last for about a minute or two, and then it goes away. So now I have lactic acid on this side of the face doing its wonderful exfoliation. Never use a physical exfoliator. None of those scrubs. If you have any of them, just I hate to say throw it away, but throw it away because they can create all these little micro tears on your skin and just give you a very uh, textured skin and they create all these little openings for bacteria to get in and uh, lots of redness. Just don't use those scrubs. Use a chemical exfoliator and look. take a good look at lactic acid. On this side, I have my um, my, uh, what am I saying? My retinol. Sorry. I'm still thinking about my son. So now I'm going to put on my eye cream and I am using the Acure ultra hydrating eye cream. I have to tell you, this was another find from target this summer. I love this eye cream. This eye cream contains caffeine. So it's great for depuffing. It also contains a bunch of antioxidants, which will help to really brighten the skin and to minimize the fine lines and wrinkles and it also has some fatty acids in it which are great for nourishing the skin i have a few videos on ingredients that i love to use on my face and ingredients that i will never ever let touch my skin one of the things that i am totally against 100 is the uh is the pro drying alcohols i Love though the fatty alcohols are in like two categories. If you don't know what is what, go over to my Instagram account and you will see if you scroll down a bunch, you'll find that I have put posts of like the good alcohols, the bad alcohols, and then the ones that are okay. Just save that post and, um, you know, you'll use that for when you're, you know, next time you're at Target or wherever you are looking at ingredients labels and trying to figure out if a product is good for your skin. So now I am moisturized and I, or I'm sorry, now that my eyes are hydrated and I have all of these wonderful little antioxidants working their magic, I'm going to put on my night cream. This brand called Sukin, I found out about a couple years in Dubai, a couple years ago in Dubai. This is a brand from Australia. And actually it's so funny. One of my girlfriends lives in Australia. She's Australian. She used to live in Dubai. She moved back. And I remember I was talking about this on my Instagram, um, like some reel or video I made. And she said that she saw this all the time in the supermarket. She never knew if it was good or not. And after I said it was, she went and bought the entire line. I do really like this brand. And this one is now available at it's either Target or it's Ulta. I have it linked down below. I can't remember off the top of my head. So here is this cream. This is their Enriching Night Cream. 
and I'm just going to use a little bit of it and put it all over my skin. This is full of antioxidants and lots of nourishing seed oils and extracts. So this is going to give my dry skin just a really nice drink. It has a beautiful texture to it. It's a leaving a little bit of, um, feels like a little bit of a protective film on my skin, like to support my uh, skin's barrier. And I like that because during the night, you know, of course, from trans epidermal water loss, I always just feel drier and drier. And this cream just keeps my skin feeling so soft and supple all night while really nourishing it and helping to keep it looking as healthy as possible. For the last step, I always like to use a bit of oil because I am so dry. And I'm going back to the Acure brand, and this is a radically rejuvenating rose argan oil. I love argan oil. It's just such a... Um, it's such a great one for my skin and it's loaded with antioxidants. I went to Morocco a few years back and when you go to Morocco, everything there is rose, I mean, I'm sorry, argan oil. Argan oil is literally everywhere. So that's where I learned a lot about the wonderful benefits of argan oil, how it just really nourishes the skin and hydrates and it just, or I'm sorry, it just moisturizes. And this is going to just keep everything that I just put on my face locked in while still giving my skin just that wonderful drink of all of these wonderful antioxidants and everything that's going to really replenish my skin and just keeping me, keep me looking as healthy as possible. I forgot to go over the price points for everything. I'm sorry. So the Vitamin A serum, this one is $32.99. And that I believe is because the HPR is just, that's an expensive ingredient to have in a product. In my opinion, it's worth the splurge because the HPR just works so incredibly well. The Fervor Lactic Acid, and I think I forgot to mention, this is a vegan lactic acid. This is $15.99. I wrote everything down. I have it just on a piece of loose leaf paper. The Ultra Hydrating Eye Cream from Acure is $19.99. The Sukin uh, en Enriching Night Cream is $16.99. And the Argan Acure Rose Argan Oil is $12.99. So that is a skincare routine where almost everything is under $19.99 and it is a wonderful routine. Honestly, I have the routine that I always use. That one is on my channel right now, but I could easily swap it to this one and I think my skin would look just as wonderful, maybe even better. So that is a evening skincare routine at that $19.99 price point. And I am going to be coming out with a morning skincare routine of this similar price point. So when that is ready, you could check it out right here. And for the time being, I'll just put my normal skincare routine right here.